All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Hot Mail Show's Hot with Jerry. Um, we got a video reaction, and I think we're just gonna do a classic. This is actually Metallica playing on the Grammys, doing one. This is when they was getting ready to be the biggest thing in the world. They were well on their way. Yeah. Um, to me, the last best album they did. Yeah, I figured he was, but that's why that's why I went with this, because <laughs> I knew that it, Metallic would have a standing chance if <laughs> if we played one. Plus, this is, <laughs> this is always cool to watch. If you've never watched this, everybody, you should probably should because. Man, these guys, you can see the nervousness. They're at the Grammys in front of all these fancy people. and But once they get going and the song gets rocking, they, you can tell where they just kind of ease. Except for Jason. Jason's relaxed the whole time. And, yeah, a lot of people say this is last of the great Metallica. Um, I, I don't know. I, they've done some stuff after this that I like. But, yeah, a lot of people consider Injustice for All. I know this man does. Final album. <laughs> Is, is like the last of the great, but you know, everybody check us out. We're going to give this one a spin. Here we go. It's kind of cool because later on they show the crowd when they're jamming, and you ought to see all the people that are like, What the hell is this all about? But even when James sings, you can hear how nervous he is. Look, they had hair too. Yeah. Oh wow. Lars had a full head of hair. They still sound good. Man, they've always sounded good whenever I saw them. But here, here I notice these sounds. Yeah. Well, I think it's I think it's what it is that they're just. But Jason looks, you know, like he looks like he's at home, like comfortable, probably the most comfortable in the band. This is when they went against all the rules to making videos and. Yeah, because they said you only gonna make one. <laughs> and the people, man, the people in the crowd, they have no idea what's about to come. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, this is probably, I can handle this, this is a pretty team. Yeah, we do a lot of swing dance, you know, <laughs> I always thought Jason done a decent job for the situation he stepped into also. I can't remember when I met them, Jason was the nicest one. The rest yeah. the other three, assholes. I got my pick from Jason, so. I still got all the autographs from him. But you can even hear the nerves there. <laughs> See, I mean, everybody's starting to get relaxed, though. Like, you know, they, now they feel like this is what this is what we're doing. This is ours. Jeez, man, yeah. <laughs> Our roadhouse. It might be the roadhouse. <laughs> Patrick Sleeves, you know I'm a rawhide. <laughs> He truck those beer bottles and stuff out of Look, they hear him, they didn't, I had to turn up the guitar a little bit. <laughs> Imagine the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I 
list how strong your backups are. I think this is the video actually off my channel too, and that's what people always comment on the backups, how strong they are. And that's the cool thing is that's the real deal. There's no tapes played in the background. I mean that's the four guys playing the, all this stuff there. Somebody actually told me I looked like him one time. Like, are you out of your damn mind? Come on, Billy Crystal. <laughs> that song, of course, was written by Steve Allen. <laughs> hey, Billy Crystal, you know what to say. <laughs> he don't, yeah, he now, speaks it. <laughs> To present the nominees in the category Hard Rock Metal Performance, here is a lady who at the age of 16 was a lead singer with the first See, this all girl heavy metal group to Coming up is like a and big a history a moment in metallic history that everybody will overall. never forget. She joined tonight by one of the legends of rock. Uh, Extreme uh, yeah. was the label that was first attached to him. Oh, what's that always name? beneath uh, the surface of shop was a powerful musician. Here are Lita Ford and the man who gave Latoya the snake, Alice Cooper. Best hard rock metal performance is Big high. history. And justice okay. for all, Metallica. And justice okay. for all, Metallica. Blow up your video, ACDC. Yeah. You don't sound like this whole... Cold metal, Iggy Pop. Rest of a name, Jethro Tull. So you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. Nothing shocking, Jane's addiction. Oh, and the grade goes to. Happy, I'm a little here. Somewhere. Oh, no, it's not this one. Here. Okay. Alice, I told you to leave your pets at home. So. <laughs> God. Somebody throws it back. Watch. <laughs> they wouldn't let me bring the real one. Right. And the winner is Crest of a Name, Jethro Tull. <laughs> See, they were both, you can even tell they were shocked. They're not here, so we'll accept this. And they're here because they went straight to win. <laughs> they, we didn't figure we'd win over Metallica. It's that big old they flute. Had, it's that flute. You can actually even hear the boos at the end. Yeah. So, As it should have been. <laughs> was that the first time you ever seen that? Yeah, it actually was. Did you notice how it took them a little bit to get relaxed? Yeah, it still like me. They should uh, up the bike stuff a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once they turn... At well, the they, beginning, <laughs> I didn't like... took them a while to get going. Like, damn. Well, probably the part's like the landmines. That's probably, people probably actually jump because it was pretty loud. You I know mean, what that reminds me of? Corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the keyboards. Yeah, but at least they didn't have keyboards. <laughs> but, Did um, you know... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I always, I've watched that thing many times. That thing gets viewed a lot on my channel. It gets commented on a lot. It's I date guess there's well Metallica's got hordes and hordes of fans. I mean everybody likes everybody's like Metallica at some point in their life, even if they don't agree with what they're doing now. They it's hard to it's hard to you know it's hard to knock what they done what they done in the metal world. I never would have thought. I never would have thought we was in high school they would become as big as they are. I mean, they went against the grain pretty much and became, they're pretty much our Led Zeppelin. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we, we got to watch we got to watch them start from a little album called Kill Em All to being in an arena act. I'd seen the other day they played, 
I think it was in 92 in Russia at the Monsters of Rock 2 million people watched Metallica play that day hmm. man that is impressive I don't know if any of y'all ever seen that vi- have seen that footage but it's worth checking out because I mean they just show the camera and it's people as far as you can see is that the one with the har- was during the Harvest or Sorrow it was probably during Injustice it was 92 so it had been during Injustice but I know I was talking to somebody yesterday and they said can you imagine being on the back row of that show hmm with that many people, you know, a million people. I don't even know. I don't want to be in the front row. If you're in the back forward. row, you might just sit down because you're gonna see nothing anyway. I mean, but that I just Chris, uh, Chris Ant, she put it up there that she had put up on my page about them playing from million people, and I was like, that's a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> that's when you know you've made it. When you're playing in front of a million people, you've made it. You know when they said selling out. I guess they sold out that day. A million people probably classify, classify you as selling out. All right, you got any more you want to say about this? I think they need to return to this <laughs> this era. Grow their hair back and all. <laughs> I bet if they went back, to, hey, they did win the Grammy the second year. Then they thank. Did you remember that? They remember they thank they Jethro Tull for not releasing yeah, an album. Now. So yeah, they did get their Grammy. It was that magic year. flute, buddy. That flute did it. <laughs> All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that one. That wasn't much reaction, but it's always cool. Sometimes it's cool just sit down and rewatch this stuff because some point in time we've all enjoyed it at some point in our life. Um, subscribe, like, comments, game requests. We do this thing. We had one. If you got want to request a request to somebody else, you can do that also. We had... Danny Crowder did one for Mike May, so if you want to make, and Jerry did one for Dee Dee, if you want to do a request like that, just hit us up in the comments section, we'll see what we can do. We're out of here, peace y'all. Peace.